Welcome. This question says a current carrying wire is bent into a semicircle. So let's just draw ourselves a semicircle here. And here's my wire. Um, use the Boyle Servat law as taught in class to determine B at the center. So at this point P, I want to find out B at P. Um, assume the current flowing in the wire is 5 amps. So I can say, well, that's going to be 5 amps. And the circle has a radius of 2 meters. So we can say that's 2 meters. And so we're trying to find out the magnetic field here caused by all the little bits of this wire and the current flowing through it. And if we use my right-hand corkscrew rule, I put my thumb on the wire in the direction of the current. And what I find is that uh, my fingers point into the diagram uh, uh, on the inside of it. So that would be my magnetic field. And my magnetic field is going in. And my magnetic field is going in. So anywhere on the inside, my magnetic field is going in. And then my fingers curl around. And anywhere on the outside of this, my magnetic field is coming out. And just to remind you, that kind of comes from... I don't know if you've seen this this experiment or not, but there's basically an experiment where you take a piece of wire and you pass it through a card and you pass current through it and you drop iron filings on here and you see these circular field lines for the magnetic field. It doesn't tell you which direction they go in, but it says it's circular and by convention we use the right-hand corkscrew rule. It's useful to be able to, it's useful to be comfortable with things like finding the direction of the magnetic field under these circumstances because, especially later on, it comes up more and more. Well, I want to find the net effect of all these little bits of, so I need to use Boyo Savat's law for this, and Boyo Savat's law that says that B is equal to mu naught i over 4 pi times the integral of ds crossed with r hat over r squared. And so I need to, <laughs> need to figure out what on earth that is talking about. So here's my wire. And the first thing to recognize is that I pick an arbitrary little piece of the wire's length and I draw a vector in the direction of the current flow. So we need to visualize what these what these things are and so we have our wire and we imagine a little bit of the length that's my ds and I imagine going pointing from my point of interest to that little bit of wire so that would be our hat and then I have my separation of course is r not a vector and um, uh, my B is, I want to find the B at that point there. So there's my important diagram. And so I look at this and I try and recognize some symmetries. And the first symmetry I can see is that R squared is a constant because it's the middle of a circle. So every, no matter what DS I choose, R would be the same length. So I can say, oh, R is constant for this semi circle and so I can modify my equation and I can say well B is going to equal mu naught times I over 4 pi but let's bring this R squared out R squared times the integral of ds crossed with R hat Okay, well, now look back at some more symmetries and I say, well, you know, ds is always perpendicular. That's my symbol for perpendicular from r hat. Uh, and what that means is, so, if I write this down in the magnitude form, ds uh, r hat sine the angle between, 
that sine, the angle between, is the sine of 90, which equals 1, because that equals 90 degrees. So that simplifies to, uh, which gives me ds times a hat. And what I also realize when I've done that is that, well, a hat has a magnitude of 1 because it's a unit vector. So ds a hat sine phi is equal to oh, ds times 1, which equals ds. So that horrible looking thing simplifies to become that b is equal to mu naught i over 4 pi r squared times the integral of ds, which equals mu naught i over 4 pi r squared. Well, the integral of ds, all those little ds's added together, are uh, the um, uh, length of the wire. So it's going to be, oh, that's going to be 2 pi r. That's the circumference of a circle, but it's a semicircle, so 2 pi r over 2. Well, let's do a bit of cancelling here. So I can see my pi cancels out my pi, and the 2 there cancels out the 2 there, and that r cancels out one of those from the r squared. So I get that this equals um, mu naught times my current, and my current I see is 5 amps, 5 over 4 times r, and my r is 2. So this is 5 over 8 mu naught Tesla. So there's my answer, and oh, I need to do it in um, I need to do it in uh, decimal form. So five eighths is point uh, zero six two five. So which equals zero point six two five mu naught Tesla. And normally, you know, you can look up the value of mu naught and after a while you'll, you'll know the value of mu naught. For my class I typically tell them to leave mu naught in the test question answer because we've got to do a lot of questions in a given time. So, um, But don't go through the course and not know what mu naught is. <laughs> it's the uh, permeability of free space. And, um, so there we have it. Um, Frankly, there's only so many things I can do with a question like this. I can give you more or less of a circle. I can define that by using a term like a, a quarter or a half or three quarters or 20%. Uh, I could give you the angle. I could say, oh yeah, this angle is 37 degrees. And so you'd be able to work out that that was 37 360ths of a circle. And all of that plays into what I write down in this section here. Because if it's a complete circle, it's 2 pi r. If it's half a circle, it's 2 pi r over 2. If it's a quarter of a circle, it's 2 pi r over 4. That's all I can, all I can do is play with that. Or, as an alternative, rather than telling you the radius, I could tell you what the length of the wire is. And it's how much of a circle it is. So rather than knowing that this is a certain length and that's a certain part of a circle, I tell you the length of the wire and how much of a circle it is. And then you have to, you get to basically this stage here, and you'd have to do a, a basically a side calculation to go from the length of the wire to the radius. So it's a nice set piece. I like my students to be able to do it. And um, there we have it.